Cloudy. Man, it's cloudy over at the channel. Uh, and if you missed my last video, go check it out. Also, check out my playlist. If you want a specific video to go watch, you know what I'm saying? Or just binge watch some of my videos. Today, we got a video from Jamari called Logan Paul Confronts Moist Critical, aka Penguins Zero. Recently, there was some discourse online Logan around Paul's some clips of, that surfaced from Mr. Beast competition, lately, where he brought together 50 massive YouTubers to compete for $1 million. Dollars. I've gathered 50 of the biggest him. YouTubers on the planet. And whichever one lasts the longest, hey, this YouTube Mr. Beast video was hard. Mr. Beast got a lot of money. Look at all the YouTubers laughing and having a good time. By the end of this video, that's not going to be the case. There were some of the most popular creators on the platform here from FaZe Rub to Kai and KSI, and even Logan Paul and Moist Critical, aka Charlie. And obviously at these events, everyone is AKA mic'd up Penguins. from start to finish, with video cameras capturing their every move. And so Logan Paul was documenting his own footage at this event, like I'm sure many others were, and Charlie and him end up having this little interaction, and it stirred up quite the controversy online, when Logan included this in his latest video. You're gonna watch me confront some of my biggest haters online. Everybody that's hates crazy. Logan Paul. Of course, bro. What's up, bro? Hey, nice How are you, dude? I like your videos, dude. I appreciate I, it. I know you've talked some shit, but... <laughs> Everybody hates Logan Paul. Is everyone around Logan just a fucking idiot? I'm always super happy that people <laughs> don't personally. Man. I don't. Okay, I don't. Thank God. I understand I'm a <laughs> and I appear to be a that's bro. That's Good to see you, bro. And also, Prime... Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I think... I think Logan is being... I think Logan is being... What's the word? I think Logan's being sarcastic. But I also think Charlie's being sarcastic. Pretty fire. Thanks. Not allowed to say it on camera. I get it, bro. I get it, bro. Fuck, 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 bro. Good luck today, right? Yeah, likewise, bro. Yeah, likewise. likewise. Now, immediately, you had a ton of people come out and say, oh, Charlie doesn't stand on business. Charlie is a fake fraud and scared of Logan Paul. Charlie couldn't keep that same energy. Things like that. You do have to keep in mind that that video was filmed hey, over a month ago. And the same day Logan would release that clip, Charlie would hop onto his channel to address it. For some reason, the biggest oh, part about that is what I said about Prime, which is like, oh, Charlie's super fake. He shits on Prime online, but in person, behind the scenes with the mask hey, off, he actually loves video. it. I'm not sure if this is people maliciously lying about me, like Pinocchio, or if they just genuinely don't know or maybe heard something that was wrong, but I've never shit on Prime I've actually only ever talked positively about it on stream or in videos. Now I gotta be completely honest with you guys. See, look, to me, Prime. I'm be honest. Look, Prime and Logan is Logan. You know what I'm saying? It's like ass. Like that's some shit I would get my little good cousin to shut him up. To me, Prime is almost nah, like one crazy. of those things, like a cosmic brownie from my childhood. Like back <laughs> in the day, those were fire. But if I saw an adult eating that shit now, it's bro, like, bro, your shit are you doing okay? Cent. Either way, Charlie would go on to explain that when this was filmed, there was no lawsuit filed from Logan Paul towards CoffeeZilla, and that pretty much the public perception was that Logan had been attempting it to right his wrongs of the past. So at the time, he was in the process of trying to fix all the dog shit that he Damn, put innocent I'm people keeping my through. Video up. And when I talked about this on stream and in the videos about CryptoZoo and what was going on with it with the updates, I had always said, as long as the victims are made whole again and they get their money back, that's a happy ending. But Logan is still a scumbag for ever doing it in the first place, which is something that he also said he deserved everything he got from doing that. I have always said as well that I never harbor hatred for someone who will actually change. There's nothing to gain with just holding a grudge forever that's childish. If someone is actually- Hey, for real, it's, if we be honest, bro, Moist Critical just talked this shit, you know what I'm saying? He said what he said and he meant what he said, you know what I'm saying? Willing to learn saying. and grow from things, I'm more than willing to break bread with them. Logan Paul was very respectful of not only all the other competitors, but all of the staff at the event as well. So when he yeah, reached out to that. say hi, I was more than willing to be receptive and mature about the situation. He immediately opened up about all of the problems that he had caused and how regretful he was. So what would be the point in me getting there and just spitting on him if he's actually going to start being less of a piece of shit? And I will say yeah. it. Bro, if we being honest, Moist Critical is a real nigga. We still cool, but I still don't like some of the things you did. If you can't do that with 
with one of your real friends, you're not a real friend. It does come with the territory when you are making critical videos about others that they might not like you very much. But yeah, I would I also think that most influencers, especially on Loken's level, understand that criticism comes with their territory as well. And in Loken's yeah, case, he's does. even acknowledged in several situations now, whether it was genuine or not, that he had made some huge mistakes. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment, and I don't expect to be forgiven. I'm simply here to apologize. Coffee Zilla is not a criminal. I called him. I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his series was, yeah, "You that gotta respect of, somebody that can fire, just come on, be like uh, I did ego. this." Thank you, Coffee Zilla. Mm -hmm. um, you have catalyzed this, and I am very grateful for your work and your investigation. And I mean that. Thank you, bro. And in most cases, in Charlie's videos, or even in my videos, it sounds like, like I'm like wishing ill off, for the bro. person, or want them to lose their career or anything like that. I might speculate from time to time how something might impact someone in a negative thirsty, way, bro. but overall, if there's not a victim, or the person isn't just some sort of sick piece of shit like EDP, there's really never any ill will towards any of these people. A lot of times it's me just showing the situation, more or less explaining that what Jojo happened, Siegel? and then covering how the different sides might feel about it. Yes, some people might get some less than charitable jokes made at their expense, but that's where it usually stops. The other thing to me is, if you're acting like an asshole online trying to get reactions, everybody you really wants be surprised to do this, when some have but they the opinion don't. that you are you know being a douchebag. Like I would even think that someone like Jack Doherty or Neon, who we have made fun of a lot on here, could acknowledge off camera how arrogant, played up, and stupid some of their actions are. And this is a sentiment that Charlie seems to share when it comes to not taking his videos to a personal level. When I make a video about yeah. something, it's usually just for the sake of making jokes or being goofy about it, so I never really want whatever I'm talking about to be taken in a personal level as, or as anything like that. Bro, all bro is doing, he just, whenever he sees a situation, if he has something to say about it, he'll say something about it, like a comedian would, make jokes on it, and just be like, bro, I'm saying exactly how I feel. Like, if you hate me for it, cool. If you don't, even better. Every human being deserves a little bit of criticism. Let's be honest, bro. We all deserve a little bit of criticism. I deserve some of criticism. You know what I'm saying? He deserve it. Mr. Beast is that we all deserve a little bit of criticism. And it's, Though that does vary on a case-to-case case basis, case no, basis yeah, depending on how serious the topic is, because I've absolutely crossed over the line in making you things more much more bro. personal you than they probably should. Though, Usually, I try and just keep it more surface stuff about why That's something hell, is bad or whatever happened, whatever they did is fucking comments. stupid or whatever. Talk, and that's how I always want it to be when I make a video that, covering it's something or even the protagonist who I'm making jokes about can watch it and not be mad, but instead be entertained about it. And hopefully not walk away from it thinking that I have this burning hatred for them that will never go away. Charlie would also oh, go yeah. on to make the point that many other people in this Mr. Beast event have had issues with Loken in the past publicly, and Loken even touched on this again in his recent video when he had a similar moment with a YouTuber named Matt Pat who had made some videos on Prime. I wanted to say uh, before we get into this, yeah. like, you know, I don't know we went through that like Prime sh Are you yeah. aware of it? I am aware of it, yeah, yeah. And I just wanted to say like I'm glad we reached yeah. a resolution, you oh, know? Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sorry that that whole thing happened. No Seriously. Worries, no no worries. Worries. Now with all of that being said, I would completely understand if someone I'm, I'm, I'm liking this from what I'm seeing from Logan Paul. I don't know if it's fake or not. I've made videos about yeah. Especially because he got money. Completely he got... Logan Paul got F you money, bro. Is this me? Even if those videos were all warranted or not, it's not going to be some big surprise that they don't like me. But I'm also not going to act like I didn't say those things. So meeting Logan yeah. in person and him wanting to talk about this, I was more than willing to do. And he was very respectful, Man, took full responsibility and accountability good, in person. So I was good, more than was... willing to be mature about this. It's something I have always done and always will be willing to do. I think it's very childish to just plug your ears and say, boo, 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 not listening to you, whatever, and not engage with someone that you have an issue with. I also think there's this very large misconception that people who make commentary videos care deeply about every single topic they cover. When in reality, it's really just like any other job where someone covers current just events. Just reporting. Yes, you know there's I mean? obviously going to be some topics you're more passionate about. Like recently when I've talked about the Kendrick and Drake beef, I've actually had a lot of fun making those videos because that's something that I'm generally invested in. But many other stories are covered for entertainment of my audience 
or what I think a certain segment of them might want to see. And to me, it really does not get that much deeper than that. I would love to know y'all's opinions about the situation down below. I don't know, when it comes to my audience, I just don't feel like y'all are exactly the piranhas or anything like that going after the people we talk about here on the channel. I think y'all really just yeah. come here to be entertained for 10 minutes a couple of times a week. But either way, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video drop. Hey, man, shout out to Jamari, man, you know what I'm saying? Because... He was one of the people who got me into this, you know what I'm saying? I like to commentary on commentary, you know what I'm saying?